slavery thrived everywhere in all the colonies. Uh, and you would see that in the 13 colonies, the only one um, where slavery was not really big, and that was because of the economy and what it was based on was up in New Hampshire. Uh, but slavery was a big element everywhere. If you went to New York New ne and New Jersey, and of course um, uh, the Dutch established slavery when they established that colony, um, People were working on small plantations or farms. They were also very much engaged in the maritime industry. They worked as dock workers. Uh, they did all kinds of crafts and so forth. So it's, it's actually um, um, a myth that slavery was really just concentrated in the South. The numbers started growing, but keep in mind now, it's not until the latter, until about the 16th, no, 1750s, that Georgia would open its doors to slavery. They forbade slavery for much of its early period uh, because that was seen as a resettlement place for English debtors. And, but once they opened the doors to slavery, they grabbed it like gangbusters and it really became an important part of their economy. Um, where you saw slavery dominate in terms of the ratio of whites to blacks, it's in the South. Virginia having the largest population of both whites and blacks would very quickly have, um, by the 18th century, the, the mid to late 18th century, almost have um, a, a black population that was about 35 to even 40% of the population. But in places like the Carolinas, you would see the disparity even larger. Uh, eventually, by the end of the American Revolution, you would see 60% of the population in, in especially South Carolina would be of enslaved people, mirroring what you would see in places like Barbados and Jamaica. And that was because the Carolinas, were, especially South Carolina, was seen as a place where um, people were absentee owners. You would have the large plantations, hire a few poor whites to manage the plantations, but you would live elsewhere for part of the year, and you would have plantations that would have anywhere between two to 400 people. You might own uh, 10,000 people. Uh, so in the Carolinas, that was much like Barbados, Jamaica. But in the other parts of the American colonies, you wouldn't see that level of disparity, but you would see higher numbers the further south you went because of the climate, because of the preference by the English to mirror what was happening in the Caribbean colonies.